LEGO Star Wars is back at it again with another Brickheads. The 40615 Tusken Raider might just be the best one they've ever released. With 152 pieces, this one retails for just $10 and has avoided the price increases that have plagued a lot of categories of LEGO Star Wars sets in the last year. This is the Blink-182 edition, but out of those, only about 20 or 25 are Star Wars Brickheads. The side art shows a real-life or real-movie Tusken Raider, and our back box art shows a couple of movie screen grabs from A New Hope with Luke's Land and speeder making appearance too. Inside of the box, you'll find your typical assortment of Lego parts with an instruction manual, and the build is really standard. It's a Brickheads. When it comes to the finished build, this is truly one of the best LEGO Star Wars Brickheads they've ever made. It looks phenomenal and really captures the look of the character while also having that Brickheads look and feel. It's something that isn't always nailed down, or at least subjectively, especially with Brickheads, not nailed down in my opinion. The eyes pretty much perfectly capture the soullessness of that Tusken Raider. I really love the part usage for that in particular. We have the satchel tiles. They're all printed, and you do end up with an extra at the end, but those printed satchels are fantastic. Great to see printed pieces, and at that, this isn't a one by four. These are separate one by ones, so it's all one by ones. Might be something you might not expect, but yeah, definitely very cool part usage there and then we get the gaffy stick which will never throw me off when they use minifigure accessories for brickheads because obviously the scaling doesn't quite make sense but you're not buying a brickheads for its scale obviously and so that's a passable thing and it's something they've been doing with these brickheads the whole time like they use the minifigure lightsabers for brickheads as well so that's something that i think is pretty sensible although it is something that might throw you off same for the musket on the back it does look a little small compared to the rest of the tuscan raider but it's certainly a nice accessory to have on the back i would have been keen to see what a brick built version of this would look like because typically with the blasters for brickheads they do do brick built versions of them but not in this case, they just use the musket piece. As with any other brickheads, you can remove them from the stand quite easily, and simplifying the stands to not have any printed tiles or anything on them was one of the best decisions they ever made with brickheads. It ruined the continuity of them, but now they kind of have it down, and this also mimics the look of the brickhead's face. But for $10, I see absolutely no reason not to buy this set in 2023. It would just make no sense to me if you have any connection to the Tusken Raider, if you liked him in Book of Boa Fett, liked him in the original trilogy or otherwise, it's an easy pickup for me. For 10 bucks, it's hard to pass on. As far as Brickheads go, this one is a 10 out of 10 to me. If you want to pick it up, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description below, and you can check out more 2023 LEGO Star Wars set reviews on the end screen now.